Hello everybody, Dr. Javaner here. I am here today to walk you guys through the first program you're going to be writing. Um, let's start with Hello World. That is the first program that anybody who wants to become a programmer usually writes. And I'm uh, positive that this class is probably the very first programming class that many of you guys are taking. If you have downloaded Visual Studio 2019 community version, when you click on it, this is the page that you're going to be able to see. Once you come to this page, you're going to click on create a new project. After creating a new project, please make sure that you're going to click on empty project. We don't want any other files associated with this, so we're going to start using an empty project. I'm going to click next. This is the name of your project. This is where your project is saving at. It is very important that you notice where your project is being saved at because that's the folder you're going to be looking into to upload and submit your files. And so if this information is correct, then I'm going to click create. So this is the environment that you're going to be writing your program in. Of course, if you notice, there is no place for me to type yet because the environment has not completely set up. I have not set up my source files. It is important that we're going to come over here. If you don't see these over here, that means that your solution explorer is not showing. So what you can do, you can come over here under view and click on solution explorer so you can see your solution explorer. Under your Solution Explorer, you have a bunch of different items. Under Source File, you're going to right-click on your Source File. You're going to click Add. And once you click Add, you're going to click on New Item. Once you click on New Item, you're going to be able to see this window that pops up. And this window, things that you need to pay attention to is your Visual, Visual C++ is clicked on or highlighted. And right over here, you need to make sure that that CPP is highlighted. This is the name of your file. I'm going to change this one. And this is where my project is being saved at. Again, it's extremely important that you browse and know exactly where your file is saving at. If, if you don't know where it is, then create a folder on desktop and save it there. Once you see this information is correct, then you're going to click Add. This will create my environment. So now I can start typing my program. In C++, the very first thing that we want to write in our program are the libraries, the preprocessor directives that we're going to be bringing into our program so we can actually start using their functions. So to bring preprocessor directives, I need to be using hashtag include. And by including the hashtag, it's going to signal the compiler saying that we are about to use a linker or a file that brings functions to our program. So in this case, I'm going to be using IO stream, which is input and output stream. This will allow me to use seen and see out in my program without having to worry about defining it. The next line in this program I'm going to write is namespace. Notice when I put capital U, it's going to put a squiggly line underneath of it. That's because everything is case sensitive in this environment. As soon as it changes the color to blue, I know it's correct. So it's using namespace. And I'm going to be using the standard version of namespace. And that's the reason I'm going to put STD at the end. These are all keywords, meaning that every single one of these things that I'm writing right now, it's predefined to the compiler and to this environment. So I don't have to define it and the computer understands what I'm doing. I'll tell you guys in a minute why I put this using namespaces STD up. 
on top of this program. Next, I'm going to bring in my main. This is going to be my main function. This is where I'm going to be writing my program. Anytime that I write a main function, I need to open and close a curly braces, which we call it block statement. This block statement is where we put the actual program. Now I'm going to start with typing out a simple C out statement, a simple print statement. So all lowercase, I'm going to write C out. And please pay attention to the terminology I use. This is going to be in your exam. So it's going to be C out. And then I'm going to use two greater sign. This is called stream insertion operator. So after ins insertion operators that I'm using, it'll allow me to start putting output into the console. So I'm going to be using string literals. And I'm going to write hello world. And because it's a statement, I'm going to end it with semicolon. At the end, I'm going to learn zero and close it with semicolon. Now, if you look at this program right now as a very simple program, that is printing out a hello world for us. So let's go ahead and run it. How we can run this program is by clicking or pushing F5. So I just pushed F5 on my keyboard and this will bring my console and yay, hello world. Welcome to this world of programming everybody. So this is your first program, Hello World, but I want to show you guys a couple of things before we log off for today. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Please make sure that you always close your console, otherwise the next time you want to run it, it'll, it may give you an error. So what happens if I want to write a true line in here? Let's say if I want to write C out, and this is actually part of your lecture, C out Say C out. This is let's see, thirteen thirty-six, and then semicolon. Remember, every statement needs to end with semicolon. If you don't put this semicolon in here, look what happens here. The return statement it's gonna give you an error saying that I don't understand what you're doing because now this line is actually getting attached to this line. So I'm going to make sure that I'm going to put the semicolon, that's every statement in C++. Now when I say statements, I don't mean the main, these are different. Look at this. This is a function. You never end a function with a semicolon. But the statements, you will end them with semicolon. So now let's run this. What do you think what happens if we run this program? Do you think it's going to say hello world and then in a separate line, this is COSC 1336? Let's run this program and see what happens. So when we run this program, everything is going to come right after one another. It's not going to be in separate line. And the reason being, I'm going to close this, the reason being because we don't have end line in here. If I add an end line, in here and by the way this is an L it's not a one so if I add an end line in here and watch I'm gonna run this program so F5 let's run the program again so once I run the program again and now look at it now we have it in two separate lines and that's because this will prompt the program to go to the next line another thing that I can use in instead of end line is what we call Escape sequence, which inside of a string lateral, I'm going to do backslash n. And this backslash n, it's going to, again, signal to go to the next line. So let's run this program now. I'm going to F5. And now we have it in two separate lines. Uh, let me quickly explain what the using namespace is for and then uh, we're going to log off. So the using namespace that I have in here is because I'm using the standard version of namespace so I don't have to keep putting std colon colon c out std colon colon c in. Do you guys see the std at the bottom what it says? 
I don't want to put that in here. And because of that, I can simply say I'm using namespace throughout my program, so I don't have to put that in front of every scene and see out that way. I hope this video helped you guys out understand how to set up and create your first project or write your first program. Please let me know if you have any questions.